हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्टडी मैक एजुकेशन चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एमसीक्यू फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट एट सो लेट आवर क्वेश्चन ओवर हियर थर्मिड वेल्डिंग इज फॉर्म ऑफ और ऑप्शन आर ए गैस ऑप्शन बी फ्यूजन ऑप्शन सी फॉर्ज एंड ऑप्शन डी रेजिस्टेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आवर राइट आंसर ओवर हियर इज फ्यूजन रिमेंबर थर्मिड वेल्डिंग इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ फ्यूजन नाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ थर्मिट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थर्मिट इज मिक्सचर ऑफ आयन ऑक्साइड आयन ऑक्साइड प्लस एल्यूमिनियम ऑलवेज रिमेंबर एल्यूमिनियम प्लस आयन ऑक्साइड इज नोन एज थर्मिट नाउ टेम्परेचर डेवलप इन दिस प्रोसेस इज अप टू वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस लेट मी जूम ओवर हियर इज रेल्स एंड ट्रक फ्रेम्स इट मीन्स टू वेल रेल एंड ट्रक फ्रेम्स एंड लोकोमोटिव फ्रेम्स एंड ऑल्सो टू रिपेयर ब्रोकन गियर टीथ सो दिस आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन रिमेंबर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रोटामीटर इज अ डिवाइस रोटामीटर इज अ डिवाइस विच इज यूज टू मेजर अवर ऑप्शन ए वेरोसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड ऑप्शन बी फ्लो ऑप्शन सी रोटेशन एंड ऑप्शन डी एब्सोल्यूट प्रेशर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड नो रोटामीटर इज अ डिवाइस विच यूज टू मेजर वॉल्यूमेट्रिक वॉल्यूमेट्रिक फ्लूड फ्लो सो अवर राइट आंसर इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्लो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर रोटामीटर इज अ डिवाइस यूज टू मेजर फ्लो नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्शन ए वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड सो वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लूड इज मेजर्ड बाय द डिवाइस पीटोड ट्यूब ऑलवेज रिमेंबर पीटोड ट्यूब नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द सरफेस रफनेस ऑन अ ड्रॉइंग इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय और ऑप्शन आर ए जिग्जिक लाइन ऑप्शन बी स्क्वायर ऑप्शन सी ट्राइंगल एंड ऑप्शन डी सर्कल नाउ द राइट आंसर इज ट्राइंगल लेट मी रिपीट द क्वेश्चन द सरफेस रफनेस ऑन अ ड्रॉइंग इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई ट्राइंगल्स बट द करेक्ट वर्ड इज इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल्स सो दिस आर द इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल्स एंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द ट्राइंगल्स इज इफ इन अ ड्रॉइंग सिंगल इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल इज गिवन दैन इट मीन्स दैट द सर्फेस रफनेस सर्फेस रफनेस इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई आर ए वैल्यू आर ए मीन्स एवरेज रफनेस ऑलवेज रिमेंबर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इफ वी वॉन्ट टू डेवलप अ क्यूब टाइप प्रोडक्ट सो अ टॉप सर्फेस इज रिक्वायर टू मेंटेन अप टू एट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव माइक्रोमीटर सो इन ड्रॉइंग सिम्बल ऑफ इन्वर्टेड ट्राइंगल इज एज सोन एज पर द फिगर now we can also write for 8 to 25 micrometer like 8 into 10 to to minus 6 meter both are same okay now let's move to the next detail for two inverted triangle it shows that the surface roughness is 1.628 micrometer and for three inverted triangle the surface roughness is 0.025 to 1.6 0.16 micrometer and for Four inverted triangle. It means that the surface roughness is less than 0.025 micrometer. Now, over here, this symbol is also very very important in case of drawing. What is the meaning of A, B, C, D, E, and F? Let's see one by one. The meaning of A is roughness value R A in micrometer or grade number. Okay. B is stand for production method. treatment n for coating and c for sampling length d for direction of lay e for machining allowance and f for other roughness value than ra okay now let's discuss some other uh, symbols for first one it shows that surface texture obtained by any manufacturing process like turning grinding bleeding and bending for second symbol it shows that surface texture obtained by material removal by machining operation over here manufacturing process and over here machining operation by turning drilling milling slotting 
and for last one stand for surface texture obtained by without removal of material example casting surface welding surface procurement size now surface texture obtained by without removal of material it means that we can also use sand paper this are the sand paper okay so we can obtain surface texture without removal of material or we can also use the sand paper now whenever uh, this symbol uh, if we want to establish some surface roughness so the degree should be 60 degree at both side this is the additional information now whatever we have discussed let's see one by one the first symbol shows that surface may be produced by any manufacturing process second one symbol is shows, shows that material removal required by machining process and last one is shows that material removal prohibited or surface texture obtained by without removal of material or we can use sandpaper also now let's move to the next detail next question the coefficient of friction depends on our option R a nature of surface option B shape of the surface option C strength of surface and option D area of contact well first of all the coefficient of friction mu depends upon nature of surface always remember A is our right answer now let's move to the next detail in injection molding is the ideal method of process option A thermosetting plastic option C non ferrous materials option B thermoplastic and option D plastic okay now our right answer over here is thermoplastic let's focus on the question again in injection molding is the ideal method of processing thermoplastic material now what is the meaning of thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic first of all when product is made then if we want to change its size and shape then we can then it is possible if we apply heat again and again so once product is made then we can change size and shape as per our requirement in thermoplastic material but in case of thermosetting plastic we cannot change size and shape once it gain its original size and shape so by applying heat again and again we cannot change size and shape in case of thermosetting plastic so remember this uh, difference now let's see some important example for uh, thermosetting and thermoplastic to remember this uh, sequence here we have one uh, short tricks like IPC I P C you can also develop your own trick to remember all of this uh, name of thermo setting plastic first of all I for alkyds E I means A I A for alkyds I for sorry over here thick six like this A E F C I P C A for alkyds E for epoxy F for phenolic and C for silicon you can also pronounce like S but over here we should remember silicon means there is also another silicon S I L I C O N the difference is E let me remove uh, the difference is only E now this silicon represent this silicon stand for natural natural chemical element always remember this silicon stand for natural chemical element and for thermo setting for thermo setting silicon it represent synthetic synthetic substance always remember both silicon are have uh, different meaning and the difference is E so don't confuse between these two silicates to what silicon and silicon for thermo setting now let's see the example of thermoplastic we must remember these all uh, examples acrylic polyamide nylon and pvc to remember 
the short trick is app on abi so you can also develop your own tricks now let's move to the next detail corrosion resistance corrosion resistance of steel is increased by addition of let's see the option vanadium and aluminium chromium and nickel zinc sulfur phosphorus and lead so first of all our right answer over here is c chromium and nickel now what happen if we add vanadium aluminium zinc sulfur and phosphorus in the steel so let's see first of all vanadium if we add vanadium in low carbon steel then it will increase yield and tensile strength of steel always remember very very important for example point of view now if we add aluminium in a steel so let's see what happen aluminium bar are majorly used for the deoxidization of liquid steel and it helps it helps in removing the dissolved oxygen from the liquid steel this process is known as killing steel or aluminium kill steel or silicon kill steel because silicon is also used for the similar purpose okay now let's very very interesting story for aluminium always remember aluminium is used to remove dissolved gas or oxygen from steel now let's move to the zinc zinc is normally used for coating on alloy steel and for stainless steel copper is used for coating always remember very very important for example point of view now let's move to the sulfur sulfur is a in actual it is impurity in a steel and it is also responsible for red shortness now sulfur in a steel majorly in form of iron sulfide and manganese sulfide always remember now iron sulfide is responsible for red shortness now what is red shortness it is the tendency to form a crack during hot pressure treatment like forging stamping and rolling at temperature 850 degrees celsius to 1150 degrees celsius now let's discuss about phosphorus phosphorus is also an impurity in a steel and it is responsible for brittleness and cold shortness so let's see what is it it means that the things get brittle when it cools it means that things get brittle when it cools so when our steel become cold so it will get it will become brittle material because of phosphorus impurity so always remember sulfur and phosphorus sulfur responsible for red shortness phosphorus responsible for cold shortness cold shortness always remember now let's move to the next detail next question rain drops rain drops are spherical because of option a air resistance option c atmospheric pressure option c surface tension force option d viscosity so first of all our right answer over here is surface tension surface tension is responsible for spherical shape in a rain drops always remember now let's discuss about air resistance air resistance are in automobile is represented by the equation 0.5 rho cd a v square over here rho stand for air density cd is coefficient of drag and a is the projected frontal area of vehicle and b is the vehicle speed if for a we don't have to consider the whole area of body of vehicle but we only have to consider the projected front area of the vehicle okay yes. only we have to consider the projected front area then we don't have to consider the whole whole body of the vehicle so this is our projected front area okay so we have to consider only this uh, amount of area now let's move to the next uh, details surface tension as we know uh, surface tension newton per meter and uh, for atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is measured by barometer always remember very very important mcq and viscosity yes over here there is a mistake in spelling viscosity okay now let's see what is the definition of viscosity viscosity of fluid is a measure of its resistance to gradual deformation by shear stress or tensile stress so viscosity is also known as the resistance to flow of an oil 
now let's move to the next uh, detail well types of spring used in door hinge is option a spiral spring option c uh, helical torsional spring option b multi spring and option c helical extension spring first of all let's focus on the question again type of spring used in door hinge so we should know about uh, door hinge everybody know door hinge is look like as shown this figure and with uh, this helical torsion spring over here let me overlap so our right answer is type of spring used in door hinge is helical torsion spring okay now let's discuss about leaf spring well first of all we should check the right one figure and the nomenclature are spring eye with bush rear hanger camber spring cycles now cycle very very important cycles cycle is given in a leaf spring and it permit uh, the leaf spring to extend up to its maximum length now let's see how it's work well the overlapping area is uh, the overlapping component is used is known as a cycle and cycle permit this leaf spring to extend up to its maximum length so very very important mcq for example point of view remember now let's move for next detail helical extension spring helical extension spring is used for tension type force tension type situation and helical compression spring are used for compression type situation so always remember now let's move to the next question mercury well mercury does not beat the glass okay this is due to the property of liquid known as or option r surface tension option b cohesion option c viscosity and option d adhesion well our right answer over here is cohesion now we should know what is the meaning of cohesion what is the meaning of cohesion and what is the meaning of adhesion so let's see cohesion means the attraction between particle or at or the sticking together of particles of the same substance means the attraction of the molecular atom in one fluid or in one substance now uh, this phenomenon is known as cohesion now for adhesion adhesion means the attraction between molecular or the sticking together of particles in between surface and object or surface and substance this phenomenon is known as adhesion well in let's focus on the question again mercury does not beat the glass because cohesion force in mercury is more than adhesion force so over here our right answer is cohesion now let's discuss about uh, viscosity and density in compare with mercury and water so first of all let's see viscosity viscosity of mercury is less than water why because shear stress develop shear stress develop in water is more than mercury this is taken from the relation viscosity is directly proportional to shear stress and inversely proportional to velocity gradient now this story tells that tau is equal to mu du by dy and everybody know du by dy is our velocity gradient and tau is a shear stress so viscosity is directly proportional to shear stress and viscosity is inversely proportional to velocity gradient okay now let's focus on the density mercury has the density of 13.6 g per cm3 while water has density of 1 g per cm3 so the density of mercury is more than water but viscosity of mercury is less than water very very important mcq for example point of view always remember now let's move to the next detail next question which one of the following thermodynamic process approximate the steaming of food in pressure cooker let's see the option a isochoric means volume remains constant in isobaric means pressure remain constant 
in isothermal means temperature remain constant and isenthalpic and or we can also say isoenthalpic in which enthalpy remain constant so first of all our right answer over here is b isobaric process always remember in pressure cooker the pressure develop is 1.1 1.3 bar so it is more than atmospheric pressure this is an also uh, an important uh, mcq now let's move to the next question which is an uh, operation of forming conical shape at the end of drilling hole so option r a boring option b counter sinking option c trepanning and option d drilling well our right answer over here is counter sinking counter sinking is a process in which we can develop conical shape at the end of the drill hole now uh, let's see all the process all the machining process boring boring on other hand is a process of enlarging hole that has already been made by another process like drilling in short boring is the secondary finishing operation always remember now over here one tool is given that is gimlet very very important for exam point of view uh, as we can see in this figure the end of the tip is uh, given with a thread like screw thread so let's see about gimlet gimlet is a hand tool for drilling for drill small holes mainly in wood with a splitting without splitting always remember now let's see about gimlet another information uh, gimlet is a one handed boring tool with wooden t handle sometimes at this portion over here as we can see the metal handle is given but sometimes wood handle wooden wooden handle is also given now and a metal worm or small screw on the tip used for making hole in the thin material or for making starter holes for screwing or drilling always remember now let's discuss about counter sinking also uh, once again there is a spelling mistake counter sinking process so now let's discuss uh, first of all our question what is given in our question so we have some clear idea about counter sinking which is an operation forming a conical shape at the end of drilling hole so at the end of drilling hole we have to use counter sinking tool to develop conical shape but if we want to develop conical shape on the surface of work piece after drilling process are done then we can use this uh, counter sinking tool to develop conical shape cavity because over here as we can see the head of uh, the screw and the surface of the head screw is not parallel with the work piece so once we develop the conical cavity with the help of counter sinking tool uh, as we can see over here the head of the screw is parallel to the uh, is uh, in line is in line with this workpiece surface the our workpiece surface okay now let's discuss about counter boring over here counter bore as we can see here the drill is made by drill bits and if we want to enlarge the drill hole so we can use over here counter boring okay now another process is trepanning in trepanning is a method of hole drilling which leaves a center core now at right side figure well first of all this is our workpiece and at the center we have core and uh, we have also cavity now how cavity is developed so at right side at left side figure as we can see there is a cavity in a tool so due to this type of tool we can develop core cavity in a work piece okay so this process is known as this operation this machining operation is known as trepanning always remember very very important mcq for example point of view now let's move to the next detail 
Our next question is engine piston. Engine piston are usually made of aluminum alloy. Because of it, option R is lighter, option B absorbs shocks, option C is stronger, and option D wear less. Our right answer over here is absorb shocks. And one other information that we should remember: 11% is silicon. 11% is silicon. Oh, okay, over here silicon. Okay, not E. E is not available here because this is not a thermo setting plastic. Always remember. So 11% is silicon used in making of engine piston and it is also made by aluminum alloy to absorb shocks so over here b is the right answer now let's move to the next question in cnc programming code g means option a machine code option c auxiliary code option b preparatory code or an option d standard code our right answer is preparatory code now let's discuss some important g codes and m codes which frequently ask in exam First of all, G00 stands for Rapid Linear Interpolation. Now, G01 stands for Linear Interpolation. G02 stands for Clockwise Circular Interpolation. Okay, Clockwise. And G03 stands for Counterclockwise Circular Interpolation. So, remember these G codes. G04 stands for Dwell. G28 stands for return to reference point or go to home position now let's discuss about m code m00 stand for program stop m01 stand for optional stop m02 stand for end of program m03 stand for spindle on in clockwise rotation and m04 spindle on in counterclockwise rotation now let's discuss about m05 stand for spindle stop m06 tool change m07 for mist coolant on m08 stand for fluid coolant on and m09 stand for coolant off so very very important for exam point of view now let's move to the next uh, detail next question which of the following material is most elastic our option are glass option b brass option c plastic and option d steel then the right answer is steel. Steel is most elastic material. Now let's discuss about our option A glass. Glass is an amorphous material. Always remember very very important MCQ. And in amorphous material the atoms are arranged in chaotically manner. It means that the atoms are not arranged in a correct order in a correct manner. They are in haphazard manner. Now for Next uh, is mesomorphous, mesomorphous material and the example is mica. In mica, some atoms are arranged in a correct manner but remaining atoms are not arranged in a regular pattern. So the uh, example is mica for mesomorphous and for crystalline material. For crystalline material, the atoms are arranged in a crystal order. So a diamond is a crystalline form of carbon as we know. And for brass, brass, it is very resistant to atmospheric co corrosion. Always remember. Now thermo setting, as, as we have discussed in our previous question, alkyds, epoxy, phenolic and silicon. And this silicon stands for synthetic, synthetic substance. And another silicon stands for natural chemical element so always remember this difference and for thermoplastic our uh, examples are acrylic polyamide nylon and pvc okay now let's move to the next uh, question in power plant cooling tower in power plant cooling tower option a cool water of condenser option b cool steam of boiler and cool water of condenser both option c none of the three mentioned here and option d cool steam of boiler well in power plant 
द फंक्शन ऑफ कूलिंग टावर इज टू कूल स्टीम ऑफ बॉयलर एंड कूल वाटर ऑफ कंडेंसर बोथ सो बी इज अ राइट आंसर ओवर हियर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट डिटेल वेल दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो वी विल कंटिन्यू अपलोडिंग नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो टू बी कंटिन्यूड नाउ इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस वीडियो देन प्रेस लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो गिव कॉमेंट्स बिकॉज योर फीडबैक्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड लाइक मैकेनिकल मेकाट्रॉनिक्स ऑटोमोबाइल एट्सेट्रा एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल ऑल्सो टू जॉइन विथ अस फॉर नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड वी आर ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन फेसबुक ट्विटर लिंक इन एंड गूगल प्लस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी इन एनी सजेशन देन फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट अस ऑन स्टडी मैक एजुकेशन एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम थैंक यू एंड हैव अ गुड टाइम